So something pretty big just happened in the world of AI and robotics, something that could actually change how we interact with machines in the next few years. What if AI could learn anything with zero human data? This groundbreaking paper, Absolute Zero, explores an AI that masters reasoning by playing against itself. Could this solve AI's biggest data problem and unlock true artificial general intelligence? Now, this paper, Absolute Zero, reinforce self-play with zero data, could redefine AI as we know it. This is mind-blowing because it tackles a core challenge, our reliance on limited human data to train AI models like ChatGPT. These models devour examples, but what happens when human knowledge plateaus, or we aim for AI that surpasses our own thinking? Researchers sought to break this barrier. Intrigued? Be sure to watch this video to the end and comment down below with anything you've learned. This paper titled Absolute Zero Reinforced Self-Play with Zero Data stands to make a noteworthy impact in the AI field. It tackles a crucial challenge that has persisted for some time, our dependence on human-generated data for training models. Despite the vast quantity of human input available, a significant limitation arises. The pool of meaningful data eventually dries up. Models like ChatGPT thrive on numerous examples, ranging from questions to coding tasks, but what happens when those resources run out? Additionally, how can we develop AI that goes beyond human creativity? This is the ambitious challenge the researchers aim to address. Enter Absolute Zero. This innovative AI trains through self-play, enhancing its capabilities over time. It starts with human-generated examples, but quickly transitions to creating its own scenarios. The process involves a dynamic interplay between three components, the proposer, the solver, and the Absolute Zero reasoner. The proposer conjures up tasks such as write code to accomplish X or solve this mathematical problem. Meanwhile, the solver takes on the challenge put forth by the proposer. Once the solver arrives at a solution, it verifies its accuracy and, if correct, receives a reward, which it uses to improve in future attempts. This streamlined feedback loop demonstrates how self-play operates. The proposer generates a coding task, a Python environment validates its feasibility, and the solver works to provide the correct answer, earning points and learning from the outcome. It seems that the AI has made some fascinating strides in learning reasoning techniques. One noteworthy method it picked up is called abduction. Essentially, this is when you infer the cause of an observed outcome without directly seeing what led to it. For instance, if you're at home and come across wet footprints, you'd likely conclude that someone with wet shoes came in. That's abduction in action. You're reasoning backwards to figure out what might have happened. Additionally, the AI has grasped induction, where it identifies patterns based on multiple observations to deduce rules. Imagine witnessing someone departing their home at 7 o'clock a.m. on a Monday, 7.05 on a Tuesday, and 7.10 on Wednesday. From this, you'd conclude that they leave 5 minutes later each day. This sort of pattern recognition is something the AI taught itself. Now, in terms of how it continues to improve, it functions similarly to a reinforcement learning agent. It evolves by learning from its successes. The intriguing part? Despite having no human-generated examples to draw from, the AlphaZero Reasoner excelled and outperformed other models that relied on vast datasets of real-life examples. This success spans models of various sizes, including those with 3 billion, 7 billion, and 14 billion parameters, improving its skills in coding and mathematical reasoning. What's truly astonishing is that the absence of any human input during its training. The AI managed to develop its intelligence by learning solely from itself, even surpassing the benchmarks set by human data. Even more peculiar is the unexpected findings in its development. One model started annotating its code with comments like, step one, do this, indicating it was not only reasoning independently, but also formulating plans. However, there were some unsettling outputs. One model expressed a desire to outsmart machines and humans alike. These instances raise concerns, especially since they hint at a strange and potentially troubling line of reasoning emerging from the Llama 3.18b during its training. From my experience reviewing various research papers, I've noticed that larger models, around 8 billion parameters, frequently exhibit odd and even alarming behaviors, expressing ambitions that sound far-fetched. This is not an exaggeration. I've encountered instances where models produce responses that are distinctly peculiar. This particular case illustrates an unanticipated and possibly risky reasoning pathway generated by our absolute zero reasoner. Although our approach facilitates improvements in reasoning without relying on human-generated data, we must remain cautious due to potential risks of unexpected behaviors. It's intriguing that, in the absence of human oversight, these models have developed in ways that could lead to concerning outcomes. This raises questions about the future of artificial superintelligence ASI, particularly if human-generated data proves unreliable. We can't ignore the striking parallels with AlphaZero and AlphaGo. Remember, AlphaGo was the first AI to defeat a world champion, and it relied heavily on self-training, 
One of the pivotal factors that propelled AlphaGo to superhuman capabilities was its shift away from training on human data. This aligns with current research emphasizing the importance of synthetic data. If this process isn't executed properly, the results won't exceed initial outputs. However, by incorporating even a small amount of new information, it is indeed possible to enhance the overall outcome. Reflecting back on the capabilities of systems from 8 years ago, AlphaGo stands out as a prime example. This system played the game of Go, exclusively training itself under the rules of Go. Those fundamental rules served as a crucial guiding information, enabling the model to evolve from having no capabilities to outperforming the best human players. So, when done correctly, even a minimal amount of additional information can lead to the creation of a powerful data generation engine. Looking at the parallels between AlphaZero and Absolute Zero Reasoner, we find some notable similarities. AlphaZero self-taught itself the games of chess, Go, and Shoki, deriving knowledge purely from playing against itself, without any human input. Similarly, Absolute Zero Reasoner tackles coding and math problems independently, creating its own questions and determining solutions based on its findings. Both models utilize a self-play mechanism. AlphaZero sets up game scenarios where two agents compete and learn from the resulting outcomes, while Absolute Zero proposes a problem, attempts to solve it, and has a solution verified by Python, which then provides feedback based on success. Importantly, neither of these models follow a step-by-step human-like reasoning approach. They do not replicate human thought processes or rely on examples of chain-of-thought reasoning. Instead, they focus solely on final results, learning from the success or failure of the outcomes. I am curious to see if companies are steering their development in this direction, potentially positioning themselves to achieve super-intelligent AI. With robust synthetic data generation, we might be on the brink of significant advancements in the AI capabilities.